Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this week's video we are back inside for a whole house clean with me. All right, my name is Jay. Welcome or welcome back to my home. And in this week's video, like I already mentioned, we are going to be inside doing a full house clean with me. This was on a Saturday morning. I had just come in from running errands. I picked up some ramen at a new ramen spot. It was delicious. Um, but I wanted to get as much cleaning done as I possibly could because I was starting not to feel well. And I, I've gone to the gym. I took a shower, went out shopping and my last two stores I was like you know I'm just not feeling good but I do work full time so I need my weekends I need those two full days to get everything done and unfortunately I ended up losing Sunday I wasn't feeling good so before that happened because I just had a feeling that I was not gonna recover before the end of the weekend I just wanted to kind of push through and get as much done as I possibly could a uh, Saturday like early afternoon and that's what I did so we're starting with the laundry I if you're new here my laundry room is kind of off of this front room of the house so the pile just tends to accumulate and end up on the couch and I said if I don't do anything else I have got to get this laundry out of here because those are all the clean clothes and it's one thing to have to get up for work when you're tired it's another thing to have to get up for work go downstairs sort through a pile of wrinkled clothes you guys get what I'm saying so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean and I again want to thank you guys for being here with me I went ahead and finished that second load of clothes off camera because you guys get the idea at this point. And then here I'm just putting my shopping stuff away. I had gone to Dollar Tree, a beautiful brand new Dollar Tree. Oh, it was so nice. Cause you know, after a while at Dollar Tree, it starts to get that stank on it. I don't know what's going on, but if you've been to an old Dollar Tree, you know what I'm saying. And this was like a new, beautiful, bright, fully stocked Dollar Tree. And it wasn't quite a full Dollar Tree plus yet. They didn't have that much stuff that was over $1.25. So I was in heaven. I love to shop. And if I can shop for at least amount of money possible, I am all about it. And this is my shoe basket. So throughout the week, as I take shoes out of my closet upstairs i just throw them in this basket so i was trying to go ahead and get that decluttered because it was just too much it was too many shoes at the front door and here's all that i got from dollar tree and walmart i picked up some chai mix some miracle whip from dollar tree which was a good value per dollar they had some coleslaw mix which was exactly what i was looking for um this night cream in the red box it's like a quote unquote dupe for olay fantastic i went back and got two more taco seasoning which was on my walmart list and i was happy to find it at dollar tree and then they had this vinegar seasoning so one of my favorite things to make is chicken wings and french fries they both can go in the air fryer they're done in 25 minutes it is perfect not the healthiest dinner but perfect and one way i like to season my wings is like a salt and vinegar seasoning it's also really good on potatoes usually i'll just soak the chicken or the potatoes in vinegar and then i'll cook them and at the end i'll like dash on extra vinegar and then some salt and pepper but i got this vinegar seasoning and i think it's just going to be so delicious so i'm just going to go ahead and get all that junk put away I had to rearrange a few things in my seasoning cabinet because I just I have so many seasonings food just needs to be interesting and I have learned I don't over season my food um, 
I don't use too much salt, you know, I know there's a stereotype and don't get me wrong, I love a good seasoned food. I don't eat no white chicken, okay, and gotta have some color, but I have so many seasonings, so I needed to go through my cabinet and just kind of rearrange things and I always am doing just little mini declutters, so there I was making sure that the ranch seasoning was still good. That's one thing, it's just good to have. You just never know when you're gonna want like a ranch, uh, potato bake in the oven like um like a sheep pan meal with some ranch or whatever that's just how I justify so anyway I'm just doing a little mini just rearranging and going through and making sure that everything can fit in the cabinets and then I had purchased some sandwich bags from Walmart and when I got home as I'm putting this stuff away I'm like wait a minute I have a bin of sandwich bags on top of the refrigerator and I never look up there it first of all was covered in grease absolutely disgusting which I did not end up cleaning in this video but I noticed it so next time I do a kitchen deep clean I will definitely wipe up there but I get on top of the fridge and I pull this bin down full of sandwich bags freezer gallon I'm like are you kidding me and I don't regret I guess buying more sandwich bags because I will use them but it's just that out of sight out of mind thing you know extras are only good when you remember that you actually have extras Moving into the rest of the kitchen, I have not been keeping up with my kitchen. It has really just, I feel like it's always like sticky counters, sticky floors, sticky greasy stove. I just have been busy. I truly have been busy. Um, if it's not appointments, people coming to the house to do work and like I did the thing on the chimney on this weekend, I was cleaning up for the guys to come for the upstairs bathroom. Uh, it's work and I, I work in tech um like big tech and I just have I've been having to work a set schedule which I'm not used to I left my previous job which was like my dream career so I thought since I was a kid I wanted to be a certain thing and I kind of got there not exactly with the agency or the title that I thought I would be doing but hey it was in that field and it was definitely very important valuable work but it just was so time consuming I mean I had no life I couldn't look forward to any days off because they would take them working 12 13 hour days and that's only when I wasn't traveling and then you could work like 16 17 hour days and you could be forced to travel and it was just a lot of stuff and I said you know I'm not getting any younger this at this point is not worth I'm not getting the reward out of this career that I thought I would so I moved on and my job was great for a year and a half and it's still pretty good I mean really it's the pay and why do I work money let's be honest here so it's been pretty good but there have been some changes and um there's a little bit more uncertainty with just the way that they're dealing with the staffing so that makes me anxious you know it's you're always competing with people on your team which I'm not used to so you're a team but they're like your competition because you don't want to be the weakest person um because you're going to be rated against your peers which I think is bs but I am just a cog in the wheel so I have no say so that stresses me out but the schedule lately I've had to work these set hours so when I have to do that and it's only a few times a week but lately it's been every week this month so um I haven't had a full week of just making my own schedule like I was doing and when I have these set hours like I leave in the morning I come home I have enough time to like eat a piece of fruit or half a drink half a protein shake change my clothes I go back out to the gym I come home take a shower cook dinner it's eight o'clock so the whole day's gone um and I just have been kind of slacking on the rest of my house I was kind of my hobbies had gotten away from me like I wasn't even pouring wax anymore. And if you're new here, I am a set home fragrance junkie like scented wax, scented candles. I love all of them. I own 
way too many. I want you to see how many candles you can spot in my video. I'd be interested. But I hadn't been doing that. I hadn't even been shopping. And if you know me, I am a shopper. Are you kidding? I've been too tired to even go to Home Goods. So, you know, long story long, I've been tired. So my kitchen kind of got away from me and I was really glad that I just kind of pushed myself to get it cleaned up this day. At least for one day, I could feel good about it. To clean out the sink, I'm just using Old Faithful, my Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser, which you can now find on Amazon in slightly larger bottles for like regular price. They're not jacked up, so I just love that stuff. And I actually don't, I don't, well, I don't love to clean, but I really don't like cleaning out the sink. I just, I don't know, I think it's boring, but I know a lot of people really like seeing it. I just, I, I don't know. I got this stainless steel sink on Amazon when I moved into the house and as well as the grate that sits in the sink and this sink is like scratched to hell. I just, I know I'm not the, the, so the gentlest thing, I'm not the softest thing with my dishes, but this sink is all scratched up and you know, it will be somebody else's problem one day, Lord willing, when I upgrade my house eventually. No time soon. Have you seen the interest rates out there? <laughs> no time soon. I am more than content to stay here and continue just beautifying my house. But yeah, the sink is a mess. To clean the countertops, I'm using this Wyman Granite and Stone 3-in-1 spray. These are quartz countertops I ordered um, when I moved in. This used to have laminate green countertops, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. So I did splurge on countertops, and I'm using this little stone spray. It's good. It's pretty good. Wyman is a very well-known brand. They make a lot of stainless steel products that... I've seen people on YouTube really enjoy. I don't love their stainless steel cleaner. I think it's all streaky and I just think a microfiber cloth and whatever spray you want will do the same. It'll leave the same streaks behind without buying anything extra. My favorite countertop cleaner for my quartz is the Wyman Quartz and Stone Cleaner, which every time I go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, I'm always looking at the cleaning products and I saw that spray. $9.99. I was like, are you out your damn mind? $10 for a countertop spray? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I buy mine from TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods for $5.99. It used to be $4.99 last year, and now it's gone up to $5.99. And I've shown it in my videos, so if you've been around, you've seen it. But recently, I found it on clearance for $4.50. I'm wondering if they're clearancing it out to jack up the price. I hope not, but yeah, you don't need a specific countertop cleaner, but I do like them to just help keep the stones as new as possible. And I got out my little plastic scraper because there was some stuff on here that just was not coming up. So I just wanted to scrape it up. And those scrapers are very, very handy to have around. I don't have any new podcast recommendations this week, unfortunately. In this video, I was still working my way through Radio Rental. So if you have any podcast recommendations, let me know. I like the True Horror Stories podcast. 
I already used to listen to Let's Not Me. It's kind of gone downhill. Sometimes I'll listen to Let's Read because that's a really long podcast, like two to three hours long. And when I'm driving, I can just zone out sounds bad, but I can just focus on the podcast and not my immense road rage at the disgusting traffic that I'm always sitting in for hours upon hours it feels like every day so I already listened to those and I remember when Limetown was really big do you if you listen to podcasts do you remember Limetown it was also like a limited series I think on Apple TV but the series was bad Season two of the podcast was actually not that good because they promised to let us know what happened to this main protagonist. They did not, you could kind of read between the lines, but when you promise a resolution in season one and we listen all the way through and you don't give it at the end of season two, you're gonna be, you're gonna make people angry. And they made a lot of people really mad, but that was a great podcast. Season one is phenomenal. And it's like, it's a fiction podcast. Another really cool one is the SCP the um secure secure containment protocol i think it's like this the whole concept is that there are certain things that need to be secured and contained in this world and there that's done at various like hidden facilities so it just talks about like the story of each of these it could be an object or a monster or a person or something like that so that's another kind of interesting podcast if you're into more science fictiony stuff I hope that the audio is okay. I do apologize if it's up and down. Um, I'm trying to stay at the same distance from the microphone uh, every time I record a new voice clip, but you know, sometimes I get excited and then I'm like talking loud and then I feel like it's a little bit staticky. So I'm really sorry about that. I do try in the editing process to go back and kind of make sure everything is at the same level, but I know that it can be a challenge to listen to and I am sorry if I made any mistakes in this video. On these floors, you already know I'm using my Tinco iFloor 3. A week, week by week, I really just have come to love this thing even more. It's a vacuum mop that I purchased on Amazon. And at this point, this model is pretty old. I think I got it three maybe two years ago but they do have some nicer upgraded models but if I can find this one I will link it below because I'm sure it's an awesome price at this point. So happy to have the kitchen done and then moving on to the living room like i've already mentioned i've been kind of behind on all the cleaning not just the kitchen unfortunately so this week it was more about just getting everything up off the floor and just putting everything away you know clearing the surfaces and then throughout the week hopefully i can keep it clean enough to do some deep cleaning come the weekend because i'm not going to do the tidy up cleaning and then the deep cleaning i just don't got all that in me and this was a tidy up cleaning kind of week When I was out at Walmart, I picked up a few clothing pieces, just another set of pajamas. They have this pajama line, uh, sugar spun or spun sugar, something like that. If you go on Walmart and you go to the pajamas, you'll see the cutest sets. And so I wanted to pick up another version of that. And then I just got this little slip dress and a Mario t-shirt. So I lately have been noticing a lot of the clothing stores are clothing closing like express filed for bankruptcy they're closing a bunch of stores 
and I just don't know like where where am I supposed to buy clothes now you know what I mean like I think I'm not in my Macy's era yet and now I'll buy some handbags and like perfume and makeup from the Macy's counter but I'm not in the, my Macy's clothing era yet can't afford it find the store overwhelming it's like older lady really nice stuff but to me it's just a little bit more mature but I don't have my express forever 21 is too young like I'm not wearing no damn like coochie cutter shorts I'm done with that I this my I, I got too much to be hanging all out so um the limited closed years ago that was my spot to buy business clothes like where am I supposed to shop now and I don't do Shein or um Fashion Nova I don't have the goods for Fashion Nova you know those girls are built I ain't built like that now you guys have seen me. you're looking at me right now I ain't got it so I don't buy from there, but I've been trying to stock up on express clothing <laughs> just in case they close for good. And I have to, heaven forbid, interview for a job. I need some slacks. So where do you buy your clothes if you're a woman or a male, I guess, if the store is unisex and has both sides? Where do you buy your clothes? Once I'm finally finished with all of the downstairs, I am I had to go out to the car and get the new vanity that I picked up from Lowe's. So that was the trip, the meaning of me going out. Sometimes I like to justify my shopping, but I actually did really want to replace the vanity upstairs because I had an Ikea vanity in the upstairs bathroom and what a mess that thing was. I would not recommend buying a bathroom vanity from Ikea. First of all, they only come with two legs because you have to attach it to the wall. It's just stupid all around. The plumbing hookup is stupid, the sink is stupid. Do not buy your kitchen van or your bathroom vanity from Ikea. Just either get one custom made if you're super fancy or go to like a big box store or try and find one at your local like Habitat for Humanity restore. That's where I went first and the one they had was only $50 less than this and it was ugly. So I just picked this up from Lowe's. It's the Allen and Roth brand and the style is Sandbanks and I love it. And here you see it in the bathroom. This is Monday, the next two days after when I started. And as you can see, it's not looking like a place where I want workers to come in. <laughs> um, so I wanted to get this little upstairs bathroom cleaned up. And I do live in a Cape Cod style house. So most of the square footage is gonna be downstairs, but upstairs I have two bedrooms and then this little bathroom in the middle. Um, Although all of the rooms in the house are technically mine, this is good, like my bathroom and it'll be nice to have a bathroom really close to my bedroom because right now I'm using the one downstairs and it's just a little bit inconvenient, which is kind of funny because growing up, having one bathroom in the house, at least where I grew up and all the people that I knew was the standard. I did not know anybody who had two bathrooms in their house. And this is including people like my grandma with two story homes. I just didn't know anybody that had two bathrooms. Um, but upstairs in this one, it was in very sorry condition when I moved in and I've already replaced the, the toilet and then I got the new vanity in and I had the workers come and they resurfaced the old blue tub and the matching tile. So it looks really great. They're actually gonna come and do a touch up because they forgot one section, but I am so happy. It was money well spent to have that done. And then the next thing will be to install the floors. I picked up new floor tile this past weekend and I need to figure out storage solutions. This room is right next to my bedroom and my beauty room. So I don't need to store everything in the bathroom because I have a whole room dedicated to like makeup, hair and whatever else I want. But I'm definitely looking forward to finding some creative storage solutions. I will likely get rid of these glass shelves. They're from Ikea and they're just a little bit wild probably I'm probably gonna look for some sort of cabinet to put there I'm thinking about reinstalling a recessed medicine cabinet but then I'll have to like 
cut back into the wall and I already patched the wall very, 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 very poorly <laughs> when I ripped out the old rusty medicine cabinet she had in here, a previous owner, and I just put up a big mirror. So I have big plans for this little tiny bathroom and I'm excited to have it finally all ready for me to just get to work. But this night we had to get to work because we had people coming the next day and I did not want to be embarrassed. Something that may make your life a little easier if you've never thought about it is to keep a, keep a small stash of cleaning supplies in each bathroom. So each of my bathrooms has its own toilet wand. I use the scrubbing bubbles one because the regular heads are a paper so you can just flush them right down. And then some disinfectant wipes, Lysol, Clorox, whatever. Even if you don't wanna clean, it just makes it so easy to do the smallest bit of tidying up whenever you're in the bathroom. My beauty room had become a little bit of a dumping ground from all the stuff that didn't belong downstairs and then everything from the bathroom. And so I just wanted to get this room tidied up and the floor vacuumed. I figured that the workers would be coming into this room just it's a very small space upstairs and maybe just to kind of stand around and wait for the other person to do something or just relax a little bit and that's what they ended up doing the curtains were moved as if they had kind of looked out the window which is fine i understand so i just wanted to make sure that this room looked presentable and i do want to redo this room a little bit it needs something i don't know maybe i'm thinking about some contact paper on this little uh, storage unit that i have over here on the wall but I'm not sure what to do. Everything in here is, I think it's very simple, but it's very functional. So do I wanna put my money into other spaces or do I just wanna put it into everywhere, you know? So I'm still thinking about it, but I do think this room needs a little bit of a makeover. And I didn't throw away the sink, just in case you're wondering. The sink and the faucet and all the pieces to the faucet I put in a bag and I'm gonna tape it to the sink and I'm gonna donate it to my local Habitat for Humanity Restore. Although like I mentioned, the one in my area didn't quite have what I was looking for and the prices were a little bit high. And I know that's been the complaint for a lot of these thrift store and they're not quite a thrift store but it's like a thrift store for for home goods right so a lot of people working on the habitat for humanity homes when they have leftover supplies they'll donate it to these centers and that's how they get a lot of money then to put back into projects and i have done some community service events with the habitat for humanity so really interesting and a really great organization but the stores are not as cheap as they used to be but i still feel good donating to them and patronizing them so i did not throw away the sink i did throw away the busted water damaged vanity that went out but not the sink
to wipe down these surfaces, I'm just using the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose spray. I think the one I have, I'm sure it's lime something, it's green, but just kind of an all-purpose cleaner. It doesn't get too bad up here. I think the dust um, is really the killer upstairs. That's what tends to kind of accumulate and then stick to the surfaces. So I can just use a very simple multi-purpose spray with no problem. And then I'm using my Shark Stratos vacuum. I swear this thing, it never needs to be charged. I love this vacuum and I have it on the like IQ sense setting. So what it does is it senses how much dirt is on the carpet and then it'll get stronger suction when there's more dirt to be picked up. So it's really cool. I have really, really been enjoying this vacuum. Definitely money well spent. And by this point, I was pretty much dead. I was so, so tired, but I wanted to get this laundry put away. So that is the last thing we will do together is get this laundry put away. And then I also did vacuum the floors because even if I don't dust or mop or wipe up in my bedroom, the one thing I have to do every week is the floors. And after the world's quickest vacuum, we are all done. I am reset. I need to take a shower and get ready for bed in the video and in real life. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot express my gratitude enough.